This video demonstrates how to use buffers to estimate populations around features on a map. Sometimes you will want to visualize and study the area around one or more features on a map. If you are interested in studying just one location, the easiest way to do this is to use the radius drawing tool. If the drawing toolbar is not visible, choose Edit, Drawing, Toolbar to display it. Then choose the radius tool and click on the map at the location you want to study. Enter a radius, and if necessary, change the units. So, for example, if I enter a radius of 5 and click OK, Maptitude draws a circle with a 5 mile radius on the map. In addition to visualizing the area that is encompassed in this 5 mile ring, I can right click and choose Export to Excel to create an Excel file that contains more information. On this first tab, you can see that stores number 9 and 11 are within 5 miles of the location where I clicked. And on the second tab, you can see the cities that are within 5 miles. In addition, if demographic data are available for the country you are using, there will be a tab that contains overlay data for the ring. In this case, you can see, for example, that the household income within this 5 mile ring is a little over $60,000, and the population is approximately 676,000. The Buffers Analysis tool in Maptitude allows you to do a more complex study of an area or compare multiple features. For example, if I want to study the populations around all of my stores on this map, I would make the store layer the working layer by choosing it from the drop down list on the standard toolbar or by right clicking on it in the Display Manager and choosing Make Working Layer. Now click this button or choose Tools, Analysis, Buffers. There are several options for creating buffers. The fixed sizes method lets you specify one or more sizes for the buffers. For instance, I'm going to take a look at the populations that live within 1, 2, and 5 miles of my stores. I want to look at the entire population that is nearby any store, so I'll leave the separate buffers box unchecked. And I'm going to check this box to calculate demographics for the buffers and click OK. Now enter a name for the new buffer layer and click Save. Maptitude creates the buffers, adds them to the map, and, because I chose to calculate demographics, opens a data view with the results. I'm going to lock this column, and if I scroll to the population field, you can see that almost 314,000 people live within one mile of one of my stores, and another 845,000 live between one and two miles from a store, and almost 5 million people live between 2 and 5 miles from one of my stores. It is also possible to create separate buffers so that you can compare the populations around each store. So this time I'll click the Buffers button, and again use Fixed Size, but this time create single separate buffers of 5 miles, and calculate demographics. I'll go ahead and replace the existing buffers. Maptitude adds the 5 mile buffers around each store and displays the data view of demographics. And if I scroll to the population field and sort it, you'll see that 735,000 people live around store number 9, and just 371,000 people live around store number 8. You can also build buffers so that their sizes encompass a particular target value. For example, we might want to build buffers that encompass 100,000 households. To do this, choose the Build to Value option, enter 100,000, and choose Households as the field. I can find the field a little faster by typing the first few letters. For example, I'll type HOU to filter the list to fewer fields. Again, click the Separate Buffers box and Calculate Demographics, and click OK. Each of these rings contains 100,000 households. In areas with many households, the 100,000 household buffers are smaller, like around store number 3. And in less dense areas, they are larger, like around store number 8. And if we look at the data view, and sort the width column, 
You can see that there are 100,000 households within 2.73 miles of store number 3, but you need to go out almost 5 miles from store number 8 to encompass 100,000 households. There are two other methods for creating buffers. If the layer around which you are building the buffers has a field with information on the size of the buffer, you can choose the variable size option and specify the field and units to use. The evenly spaced option lets you enter a minimum, maximum, and interval size for building regularly spaced buffers. For example, we can build from 0 to 10 miles at 2 mile increments. I'll uncheck the separate buffers box and click OK. In this case, we can see that almost the entire Los Angeles area is within 10 miles of one of the stores. And that wraps up this tutorial on buffers.